guys welcome back to prospect channel tv if you're joining us for the first time kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you all for always coming out here may god bless you all my country people uh, there's a popular saying that uh, a prophet is not accepted in his own domain uh -huh. and uh, this is happening you know when we re when we relate to the case of Peter B not being accepted in the southeast i mean there is nothing really bad uh -huh, if they did not accept Peter B in the southeast because this is not the first time it has happened uh, remember Obasanjo was not accepted in the southwest but went ahead and won the presidential election so for Peter B not to be accepted in the south is by some of his people i mean it's a normal thing uh -huh. for bible they say they need to respect prophets for him hometown uh -huh. even jesus christ even our lord jesus christ was not accepted you know by his people not to talk of ordinary people uh, so it is a normal thing which brings us to today's news report as foremost industrialist and chairman of hadis group dr chike obidiaibo has regretted that some notable Southeast politicians and businessmen are not in support of the presidential aspiration of the Labour Party candidate, Peter B, despite his nationwide acceptance. He noted that those who have started, pardon, who have stated their aversions to OB were doing so for certain reasons. He noted that one of the reasons has to do with past political animosity and unmet expectations for Mubi during his tenure as Anambra State Governor. Dr. Chike recalled the startling statement issued by Governor Chukumasuludo, in which he dismissed Obi's chances of clinching the presidency in the forthcoming polls, stating that it emanated more from the old political animosity than objective analysis. Dr. Chike, who was the consensus candidate of Anambra North Senatorial District, in, 2020, in 2013, governorship elections in the state said it was possible that Suludo had not forgotten his disqualifications by the All Progressive Grand Alliance (ABGA) screening committee in 2013. In an interview with the Guardian, the industrialist said it is within Suludo's right to express his misgivings about Obi's presidential ambition, but. This is a, like a payback for the 2013 episode in the build-up to Abgar's governorship primary. I think the governor should learn from me because I deployed more than 5 billion naira in the campaign to ensure that the governorship ticket of Abga was zoned to Anambra North. He noted that the search for consensus candidates for my zone, which Pito B demanded, saw Obidiaibo's emergence as the first choice and not Chief Willie Obiano, who was finally adopted as the preferred candidate by the party. My attitude to these things is that power comes from God. Since that experience, I have continued to plead with everybody to let bygones be bygones because there are things that are beyond human comprehension. I lost money suffered personal and business challenges, but I don't hold anything against OB. He, meant, he maintained the issues of competence, experience, and capacity, which place OB above his rivals, are enough to command popular support from his home base, stressing that issues of fairness, justice, and equity, which OB advanced in the agitation of zoning the governorship in Anambra, also favor him my wonderful people this is coming from dr chike hmm. well we know that um in the issues of you know this presidency and all is not everybody that is going to you know accept uh Peter b for who he is and uh, coming from his own people in the southeast region some of them are not supporting p2b for one reasons or the other i don't really know why but we see that so many other people in other regions in our country are really throwing their weights behind p2b 
Meanwhile, in the southeast, we have the likes of Governor Chukuma Soludo, who is saying that uh, he doesn't see Pito B as the president. Well, we, we know that uh, it is only time that we'll tell. It is time that we'll tell who will be the president of this great nation mm -hmm. in the 2023 presidential election. And uh, we all are going to witness, you know, the emergence of a new president this year. So we should all buckle up, you know, get our PVCs and um, sit tight because this 2023 election uh, is going to be a ground, a very big one. However, Nigerians have um, reacted to this, saying, Dr. Charles, don't mind Chale and his co-travelers. I remember 2013 episode when Peter B begged and convinced Anambra leaders of thought on the need to allow Anambra North Senatorial Zone to produce next governor of the state come 2014. Then I remember late Pa Mbazulik Amechi remarks saying that if Anambra's agreed that Peter B ruled well, that his demand to have a next Anambra governor from Northern Zone should be granted for equity and fairness. If some people are still holding that as grudges against him, let that be a burden on them. Peter B is a destined child. No weapon fashioned against him shall prosper. Hmm. Politics is a business. The question is, what has those evil politicians or, or businessmen brought to evil land? Personally, anyone who is not supporting Obi is, is either the person is corrupt or a tribalist. Obi only needs the masses' votes to win, not the support that he will pay with compensation. Hmm. Well... Those against Peter B from the southeast zone knows he don't play any nepotism, tribalism, and favor favoritism or dance to their tune. They are merely part of the old establishment. Hmm. May God be with Peter B, bless and enthrone him to the presidential seat in, in February 2023. These are reactions from nigerians my wonderful people we see what is happening you know these are uh industrialists and the chairman of the Hades group dr chike is saying that uh, he has regretted that some notable southeast politicians and businessmen are really not in support of the presidential aspiration of the labor party candidate p despite his nation wide <music>